Right, today we're going to talk about ocular surface squamous neoplasia, also known as the OSSN, a term coined um, in the late 1990s. So it covers a um, spectrum from things like carcinoma in situ to invasive uh, squamous cell carcinoma. The risk factors include being a man, um, advanced age, extensive sun exposure, smoking, immunosuppression, or you know HIV infections, chemotherapy, um, HPV infections, which is getting quite common and important these days, genetic predisposition, and xeroderma pigmentosa. The differential diagnosis in OSSNs is quite broad, including benign conditions like papilloma, which can be associated with HPV infections, melanoma, amelanotic, uh, melanoma, pterygium, pseudoterygium, uh, bitot spots from vitamin A deficiency, or keloid scar. And the important red flags, these are the things that you shouldn't miss. It's a lesion that is fixed or pitted to the underlying surface, large feeding vessels, lymphadenopathy, or a lesion that involves more than six clock hours, and there are three clinical forms of an OSSN a papillar form, which uh, you may be able to see in this picture here. I haven't got a picture of a gelatinous, but this one here shows leukoplakia, and this is another one of leukoplakia and pterygium. Conventionally, um, we understand that about 2-5% to of pterygium show some evidence of OSSN, but a report from Brisbane in Australia shows a prevalence of just under 10%. So I suppose from this, it's important that we always send the pterygium specimen for formal histology. In the event if there is OSSN, we have to look at the margins as it would affect the subsequent post-operative care. Now for management, it involves proper history and physical examination, taking into account of patient situations and understanding of the condition. Um, and then you divide them into conservative, medical, and surgical. If the lesion is less than two clock hours or so it's, and no red flag signs, it's reasonable to just watch um, every few months with photographs. And there is also a role for medical treatment. Uh, that includes, you know, if the lesion is huge or patient is not suitable for surgery, chemo reduction is an option using interferon alpha 2b, um, mitomycin C, or even 5-FU. Um, the treatment regime is as above. Um, normally we do two to four times a day, uh, classically four times a day if patients can tolerate. And interferon, you might do it for at least two to three months, whereas mitosomycin C for three cycles, one week on and one week off. Surgical treatment is, uh, involves no touch technique, where all the instruments used to excise the tumor would then remove and try to have minimal touching of the lesion. We do double freeze toe, that means using cryotherapy along the base and the margins, and it's important to send the specimen off in the right orientation. From an anesthetic perspective, we prefer to do a peribalba or GA, try to avoid um, subtenons as you don't want to be seeding the tumor into the orbit. And for epithelial debridement, I would use an alcohol solution 20%. Uh, to debride the epithelium, try to preserve the Bowman's membrane to avoid any seedings into the cornea. And close the wound with uh, primary closure. Um, avoid getting a graft if you're not sure about the margin, or you could use amniotic membrane and fibrin glue. For much deeper lesion, especially those invading into the angle or uh, intraocularly, it, it, you know, you should consider a nucleation. For those with orbital seedings, you know, exenteration is the only life-saving option. Post-op care uh, involves chloramphenicol antibiotics for a week. Uh, topical steroids such as dexamethasone or prednisolone four times a day for about a month. Await the histology. If margin is not clear, consider starting chemotherapy. And that includes interferon alpha 2b, 1 million units per muse four times a day for three to six months, sometimes up to nine months, mitomycin C 0.04%, four times a day, uh, on and off uh, for three cycles, all 5-FU. And it's important to have lifelong follow-up, 
with series of photos. Thank you.